Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. North Korea news. Kim Jong-un could unleash unimaginable devastation if diplomacy fails North Korea and the United States agreed to a diplomatic meeting between their leaders in May but experts have warned of unimaginable results should Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un fail to resolve their nuclear tension. North Korea's dictatorial regime has been fueling fears of World War III for years with its refusal to shut down either its nuclear or missile development programs. But earlier this year the international community was stupefied when Kim Jong-un invited U.S. President Donald Trump to meet after months of escalating tensions between the leaders. Experts have urged the government to engage in diplomacy with the North Korean regime to keep Kim from triggering an international nuclear conflict. Lt. Gen. Benjamin C. Freakley told Arizona State University, Asu it's in the best interests of the United States and the rest of the world to be engaged in a diplomatic and political dialogue with the leadership of North Korea to try to prevent a nuclear or even a conventional war because they have an extremely sizable military force. If we go to war on the Korean Peninsula, it's all or nothing. They either win or it's the end of their regime. There would be no limits to combat in that situation and they'd be all in. President Trump agreed to talks after a message from Tyrant Kim was delivered to Washington by a South Korean envoy saying the North Korean leader was prepared to talk about denuclearization and would freeze missile tests during talks. ASU's Center of the Future of War CO Director Daniel Rothenberg said, The possibility of war on the Korean Peninsula is one of the most dangerous situations in the world and could lead to almost unimaginable devastation and human suffering. The US-North Korea talks will take place after a historic summit between North and South Korea. Mr. Trump said, we're moving along very nicely with North Korea. We'll see what happens. Certainly, the rhetoric has calmed down just a little bit. Kim will meet with his South Korean counterpart, Moon Jae-in, at the border truce village of Panmunjom on 27 April. Despite the signs of improving relations between North Korea and the international community, the Defkin warning system has been updated to reflect the changing dangers posed by the rogue state's despotic leader Kim Jong un. The private organization, which monitors nuclear threats against the U.S., said the hermit state remained a huge threat and should not be trusted. They said, we caution the public to understand that North Korea views its nuclear program to be sacrosanct and will likely not give it up, no matter what they say during any negotiations. While the press has reported that North Korea is willing to negotiate their nuclear program, this is not exactly what North Korea said. An examination of North Korea's statement as reported by the Chinese reads that North Korea is willing to discuss it but said nothing about actual disarmament. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.